So hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the Android 8.0 Oreo Beta 2 on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. And yes, this is not the official way like the OTA or Odin method to install. So you will need TWRP recovery to install this. So those who are willing or those who already have the TWRP, then only go for it. And if you only want to try it like, so that's void. You can also use it as a daily driver with no bugs right now, only the uh, beta bugs are present. So guys, let's start with the install and the review of this So guys as I already told you that this is a flashable ROM zip So you cannot do it with Odin or some like OTA like thing This is a TWRP flashable zip and you will need TWRP recovery in order to flash that Before that I will explain you some of the features of the Android Oreo beta I have not like explained any of the features before because I have not made any video on this S8 and no Oreo beta also. So if you hold down some Google apps, you can see this new Android Oreo notification dots and also these uh, actions you can see also some notifications and quick uh, actions you can do like my apps. So it will my directly go into my app section. Now coming, okay, zooming out. Now let's go into settings into about phone you can see some difference in the ui on it just settled down like here the software info you can see android 8.0 oreo and if you like long press on this oreo you will get this octopus okay why it's not moving okay I to stretch it and throw this away so let's go back and it's samsung experience 9 Android security patch is September 5 still so yes no October patch getting back on to the now always on display clock styles in the it's on display you get the home button and clock and this you can settings and to select the clock just go back and select this clock and fake widgets select the clock style you can see many clock styles are there new new clock styles this one is a new one and looks really awesome this one with those lines, I have saw this before somewhere on the super widget and all this stuff. Also, get the themes for it. Also, you can choose color here. So, yeah, you can color the clock to all of this digital and all clocks. And now, one more tab is added here as the lock screen one. So, you can set it the clocks and all to lock screen too. Sorry, I've shown you only the lock screen. In the always on display also we get this uh, some of the clocks some clocks are missing on the always on display you get the image dual clock and yeah here are some of the clock styles so these are the clock styles and you can set color to it so that's a really good one adaptive color is also a really good feature i have turned it on so as you can see on the lock screen the color is been adapted from the lock screen wallpaper so if you set any wallpaper it will adapt the color automatically no need to be like uh, selecting the color and now i will set my fingerprint and show you that fingerprint and secure lock works so I finally added my fingerprint and as you can see like attach it and it just open so fingerprint working on this uh, rom it's like a rom only custom rom but it's the same stock official android oreo beta for our galaxy i said i will not like keep trying on explaining some features uh, like the oreo beta is not like those features which you can expect but it's like the same ui here some minor uh, ui changes and some additions are done to the oreo beta so like if you would like to try it so just move to the installation which i am going to show you now or you can just quit the video and just be on happily with no good so it's uh, your opinion like if you want to choose Nougat or Oreo, Oreo is good. I am using it as the daily driver from today. So yeah, cannot say that nothing is uh, like not working, everything working. Now let's move to the installation. Those who want to move, great thumbs up for you guys. And those who don't like, okay, thumbs up for you guys too because you would love to stay on uh, Nougat. Also preserve your warranty too. So that's it for this uh, review that was really a short and sweet review for oreo and now let's move to the installation of this so guys in order to flash the rom you will need to power up a device so i have already powered it off now press the volume up the bixby button and the power button and it boot into uh, twrp recovery now into twrp recovery go to wipe go to advanced swipe dial big system data and cage only so no need to wipe internal or micro sd card now let's go back 
and go to install option you can see these uh, three files you need to flash in this order only first the oreo beta 2 if you have a g9 fifi f which is the uh, galaxy s8 plus exynos variants all of the variants like g950 f f f f f d f f f f f f d so you will need to select that file all of the links are in the description below so select this Adamo zips no verity or this one Adamo zips secure so I have to confirm flash now this will uh, so wait till it gets flashed so guys within a minute the installation got done and just reboot device nothing else and wait for your SA to boot it will boot really quickly not to uh, like not too much time it takes to Boot. so guys that's it for the video on the android oreo beta and this installation of the android oreo beta on your galaxy s8 and galaxy s8 plus exynos variants only and guys if you like this video press the like button and if not press the dislike button subscribe for more videos on this s8 and many other devices which i have and on future which i am going to buy so guys goodbye we'll see you in the next video till then nothing bye 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 bye